Wow. We've made it to the RNA negatives. And interestingly, I'm currently sick with an RNA negative infection. No joke. So I apologize for my voice. Anyway, with this video, we're going to dive right into one of the most important RNA negatives we'll cover, the orthomyxovirus family, which causes influenza. So we set the scene for orthomyxovirus at an orthodontist's office. Sorry for all you budding orthopedists out there that we went in this direction instead, but the sketch will be called Night Shift at the Orthodontists. So as we're drawing the office, let me lay out some ground rules for the RNA negatives. First, since it's an RNA virus, we'll continue to use warm hues of yellow or orange, as you can see on our walls. However, now that we're talking about RNA negatives, we're going to change up from daytime scene to a nighttime scene. And all the RNA negatives will have this moon here. And we've put this cloud in front of each moon that looks somewhat like a negative sign. Subliminal messaging. Well, I guess it's not subliminal anymore since I just told you. So I guess that just makes it regular liminal messaging. Okay, another thing about RNA negatives. Remember how positive sense RNA viruses were sneaky and could use the host cell RNA polymerase? Well, this was because positive sense RNA can directly be translated to proteins, which is how host cell RNA is. Negatives need to be transcribed into a positive strand, so in order to do this, all negatives must bring their own RNA polymerase. We're not going to illustrate this since all RNA negatives bring along their own polymerase, so write this down in your noggin. RNA negatives bring along their own RNA polymerases. Also, RNA negatives are all single-stranded. The only double-stranded RNA virus we're covering is rheovirus. So when you hear RNA, default to thinking it's single-stranded unless it's rheovirus, the only exception. We're not going to illustrate single-stranded, we're only going to illustrate the double-stranded one, which is real virus. And finally, all RNA viruses replicate in the cytoplasm. 100%. No exceptions. Orthomyxovirus Wait, does. what? No, what's that? Hold on, sorry. Yeah, bro. Orthomyxovirus does. Shit, are you sure? Yeah, man. Okay. Okay, um, apparently there's an exception, and that's this virus, orthomyxovirus the only RNA virus that replicates in the nucleus. So other than orthomyxovirus, all RNA viruses replicate in the cytoplasm. And we're not going to illustrate this, only the exception, which is orthomyxovirus. And you'll see that in just a bit. So one last time, RNA negatives will have a warm color scheme to represent RNA. They'll take place at night to represent that it's a negative sense. And all RNA negatives must bring along their own RNA polymerase, and they're all single-stranded, real virus being the exception. Finally, almost all RNA viruses, except for orthomyxovirus, replicates in the cytoplasm. So now let's get into more specifics about orthomyxovirus. So first, do you think orthomyxovirus is naked or enveloped? I'll give you a hint. The answer is already drawn in the drawing. And I don't see a big naked David statue, so that's out. So if it's not naked, it's enveloped, which is represented by the orthodontist who is wearing a nice long white coat. We've barely drawn anything, and you already know a lot of the general characteristics of orthomyxovirus. It's pretty crazy to think about how officially your brain space is being used. So effortless, and yet you're already almost a micro-genius. 